Okay, this one is about series loads. Now, series loads are not something in the HVAC industry we do a lot of. It is done sometimes, but it, it's uh, fairly uncommon. Uh, loads are usually put in parallel. That's how we usually do them. But I wanted to explain a little things about these series loads and what the voltage drops are going to be and why. Okay, here we have a circuit. We've got two identical loads. Uh, manual switch, 240 volts. So when I close the switch, I'm going to have a voltage drop across each of these loads. And let's go ahead and see what it's going to be. Okay, here you can see I've closed the switch. And because we have the two identical loads, each of these are 10 amp loads, we have 120 volt voltage drop across each one. Now if I took the same voltmeter and took one probe and put it here and one probe and put it there, it would be 240. Because we started out with 240 volts. Um, so if the loads are identical, we will have an equal voltage drop across each load. Only if they're equal loads. Okay, the next issue with these two loads that are in series, these, in order for these loads to operate normally, they have to be rated for 120 volts. If they're rated 240, they will only get 120 volts. This is something you need to understand. Uh, I've got two fan motors, and I put them in series. If I use two 120 volt fan motors, I could put them in series on a 240 volt circuit like this one is. But if these were 240 volts, if the loads themselves were 240 volts, but identical, both uh, 10 amp loads, then they won't work properly because they'll only get 120 volts. Continue on with this and we'll put different size loads and we'll see what effect that has on the circuit and the loads. Okay, now let's look at this. Now I've added a little something in here. I've noted that these loads are 120 volts. Each of them are 120 volts. This one's a 10 amp load. This one's a 5 amp load. So under normal operating conditions, the one on the left will draw 5 amps and the one on the right will draw 10. Okay. The larger load is going to have a smaller voltage drop. Remember, we got 240 volts here. Okay. That means the smaller load is going to get 180 volts, and the larger load is going to get 60 volts. Hmm. Now, if this load is rated for 120 volts, I'm putting too much voltage through it, aren't I? I could damage the load. And in a like manner, this is a 120 volt load here, a larger load, but it's only getting 60 volts. So it's going to probably not operate at all because it's running on half its voltage. So, can you see some of the complications we get into when we start dealing with series loads? It's conceivable I could burn this load up from too much voltage, and this one would just probably not operate because the voltage is so low. I'll do a demonstration of this, and we can see how it actually works with light bulbs. So the next video is going to uh, be a demonstration of just what I've talked about here using light bulbs.